And the first pitch from Massey is out and away. 4.02 the start time here at the couch. Made game change. As ben Miller swings on his first pitch. It goes out to left, and that's going to drop right in front of Wene. So it is Ben Miller who leads the ACC in doubles. Swings and misses there. And Logan Bravo with a strikeout for Duke. Really have struggled in this series as that is a strikeout looking for Adam Tellier. And he gets it. That's over the glove of Bravo. And that's a base hit. He's on his way to second. The throw late. And Saver King is on with a double. As the senior swings at the 1-0, oh, and that is fair. King is on his way home. He'll get there easily. And Reinish is on with a double. Back-to-back -back doubles for Wake Forest. And they take the lead in game three of this series. It is one to nothing. All the runs for Wake were scored with two outs yesterday. And they have been absolutely phenomenal taking advantage. Game balls compared to trying to get a fastball down the middle. Well, here is a ground ball. They'll try for two. And no, nope, they will just get it. There were two outs there. 22 strikeouts on the season for Massey. Did he go? Yes, he did. Yeah. You know, will be with the free base the first. Payoff. And that's back-to-back -back walks for Massey. Up the middle. Might be able to turn two. Here's the throw, and that gets away from Kurtz, and the runner is going to score the tie of the game. Payoff coming as the runner goes. And Clark. This is in the left. And it gets down right in front of 1A. Here comes the runner, and there will not be a throw, and Duke takes the lead. Gets him. Base is loaded. Swing and a miss, and finally, Massey gets out of the inning. Payoff to Nelson. He swings and misses, and it is one, two, three for the Deeks. And Bravo is on the first in a game this season for Massey as that ball gets away and Gill realizes that there's a runner on first and Bravo easily gets the second. Not being so kind to us yesterday and Friday as he swings on the breaking ball and that is in the right for a base hit. As Bravo will be held up at third. That gets away. Here comes the runner, and it's a 3-1 lead as Bravo jogs back to the dugout, touching home. And it's a four-pitch walk to Winslow. And that one gets off of the glove of Gill, and once again, a runner 90 feet away. It's been won by Duke, rattling Wake on the mound. And that's a strikeout looking. Albright thought he had it. Over. It's going to be close. And that is in time. And Saver King gets the big out for Wake Forest. Super busy yesterday with the Wake Forest basketball team getting a win. High fly ball at the center. Going back. It's gone. Jake. Rightish again, and Wake Forest is within one. Well, that's the Jake Rightish that Wake Forest fans remembered. He takes something that's elevated up in the strike zone and drills it to one of the deepest parts of this ballpark. Gets on top of it. We mentioned the wind it was out to right center field, blew it just a little bit more towards right. Inside for ball four. Play by Saver King for the 6 3 put out. And this is going to be a high fly ball out to right. But Reinish, he drops it. Reinish drops it into right. And that puts Bravo to second. Gives Gracia his second single of the ball game. This is it into the opposite field. And that's going to fall for a base hit. 
And Bravo stays at third. Bases loaded with nobody out for Duke. Goes to Wene. Makes the catch. Bravo tags up. And a nice throw in by Renee to keep Bravo at third. And it is. Crowd not happy about that one as Bravo touches home, and it is 4-2. And that's ball four. Gracia will touch home, and it's 5-2. Swing and a miss. And the Deeks get a much needed strikeout, and that's the second out of the inning. And that is ball four. Another walk in this inning for Wake and OB. Touches home to make it 6-2. Four of them in this inning. Complete 360 to what we saw last night as it's going to be a throw to first. It's high, and the ball gets off of Kurtz as two runners come home. Started off the inning with a walk. And that gets away. Gill just lost it, and another run touches home for Duke. It is Miller this time and it is nine to two and the inning continues and the 2-2 two -two is swung on and finally after six runs the major piece of what the Deeks need to do to get back and there's a good start there with a walk to Cam Nelson to begin the bottom of the fifth and that is into left for a base hit right off the glove of Miller. Nelson is on his horse. He's heading for third, and he gets there. And exactly what the dogs are ordered for Wake Forest as Tellier gets the second with a double. And he's walked. Base is loaded. I don't think the wind had much time to be a factor on that ball. He sings low. And that is a strikeout as King... Goes back for out number one. Somebody warming up as well. Ball four. Lake Forest gets a run in. Nelson scores. And this one is into, oh no, it is saved and right. And they're gonna throw it the first safe. Renee is safe at first as Tellier touches home to make it nine to four. Swings on the first pitch. It's a bouncer. And they try to get him at second. And it is in time. But Kurtz scores. And this is in the air the center. And that is going to get off of the glove of OB. Run, run, scores. Here comes another. And he gets in there at third. Two runners come around for Wake Forest. It's Rhinish and Hawk. Javar Williams. Just lifts one into the air in short right field. Have come around in this inning alone. And that's a dry third strike. They're going to try to beat out the throw, but a good rebound by Winslow. Wow, wow, wow. Duke will shift much more than Wake. Dry third strike. Nelson looking to hustle down, but the tie the first is made by Bravo and one down in the bottom of the sixth. There's a drive to left. OB looking for it, and that one is gone. Adam Tellier gets Wake within one. Another solo shot for the Deeks. Huge welcome in the dugout. Smoke to left center field. Got the count full. Then getting the homer in the fourth. And he swings and misses. And he will head back to the dugout. Back to back strikeouts. On the ground, picked up by Miller. Coast to coast throw, low throw, and it is in time, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. On the ground, picked up by Miller, 
Coast to coast, and Williams beats out the throw. He's safe. Try to pull something to the right side, beat it out. Against number one, and left the dugout as. Which is interesting. And that one gets away. It's ball four. Williams off the second, and Nelson the first to bring up the top of the order for the Deeks. One, two. He gets a oh. looking. Two down and Tellier. Oh my goodness, he is fired up as he goes back to the dugout. He is off the first, bases loaded for Seaver King. That's inside, and it's ball one. Not by much. And the Duke dugout, and Chris Pollard is gonna come out. <laughs> oh, straight to home plate. And Go. Pollard is gone. And now Linus Baker is going to come in from second base. To make sure Chris Pollard doesn't take it too far. Joshua Brian Clark getting an earful from Chris Pollard who will not be able to watch the rest of this game from the dugout. One, two. And he swings there. And the Deeks leave the bases loaded. Still ahead by one as we head to the ninth. Ball four. Opened up a little quick. Runner goes, it's a swing and a miss, and Gill cannot get the throw down. Towering to left. Lene should have no problem, and he doesn't. Two down. Had a hit in the fifth. He's going to send this one to right center. Ryan is chasing after it, and it drops! It drops! And Clark comes around to make it 10 to 8 for Duke. Then Hawk suspected it would. And this goes right back to Falco. Well, Falco drops it, and luckily, it landed right in front of him, and he hands it in to Kurtz. And it seemed that the Deeks were only going to be down by one as swinging on the first pitch. He's calling for it. As it continues, and it drops! Oh, my goodness, it drops! And Reinish heads the third! And run the ball down right. Around where Reinish is. Ball landed, and... The tying run is on at first. Swings and misses, and Hawk goes down for the first out. And he does the same to Williams. And the Deeks are down to their final out. Gets him swinging. And for the first time since 2009, the series win against the number one ranked team in the country. And for Wake Forest, their 11 series ACC streak comes to an end here at the couch. Well, Charlie Bielinson with an outstanding job picking up two saves on the weekend.